Well, Luchi, pwedeng isa yun sa mga maaring dahilan kung bakit umakyat yung suporta kay Vice President Robredo. Kasi nga, hindi lang yung sa mga nag kundi yung pagbabalita tungkol doon sa rally. Uh, sa aming pagmamasid, nakita namin, that's why we put it in the headlines essentially, uh, that there were a number of uh, campaign activities that were basically covered by the media, uh, at least the traditional media. What we don't know exactly is how it has fared in terms of the social media pages. No? But we know social media pages have become a bit more selective. So the coverage of those rallies may have contributed to the increase in so far as the support of the vice president. What I don't know is what are the other strategies that any of these candidates have employed because some, most of the candidates, their preferences did not in any way change. Mm. That includes the front runner, that includes Mayor Damagoso, uh, Manny Pacquiao, and Senator Ping Lacson, among others. Uh, I, I guess the changes are things that can be sustained. It will depend largely on what they would do within the remaining 30 or more than 30 days. Um, I mean, ang problema dito, may eksine lang panahon. No? So, ibig sabihin, if, they, if, if people want to catch up or people want to, if a candidate wants to maintain his support, uh, what they need to do is really intensify more their campaign activities, maybe double or triple the intensity that it has had over the last month or so. Um, because, you know, what we see, what you mentioned, you, the data that we have is a little dated. This is 2010, where you have about more than almost half of the population saying that they decided on who to vote for as president only in the past month. So, nung nakarang buwan lang. So, maari pang magbago yan. 